Ultra-high frequency is the ITU designation for radio frequencies in the range between 300 MHz and 3 GHz, also known as the decimeter band or decimeter wave as the wavelengths range from 1 to 10 decimeters. That is 1 a decimeter to 1 meter. Radio waves with frequencies above the UHF brand fall into the SHF or microwave frequency range. Lower frequency signals fall into the VHF or lower bands. UHF radio waves propagate mainly by line of sight. They are blocked by hills and large buildings although the transmission through building walls is high enough for indoor reception. They are used for television broadcasting, cordless phones, walkie-talkies, personal radio services satellite communication, cell phones and numerous other applications. The IEEE defines the UHF radar band as frequencies between 300 MHz and 1 GHz. Two other IEEE radar band overlap the ITU UHF band, the L band between 1 and 2 GHz and the S band between 2 and 4 GHz. Characteristics The point-to-point -point transmission and reception of TV and radio signals is affected by many variables. Atmospheric moisture, solar wind, physical obstructions, and time of day all affect the signal transmission and the degradation of signal reception. All radio waves are partly absorbed by atmospheric moisture. Atmospheric absorption reduces, or attenuates, the strength of radio signals over long distances. The effects of attenuation degradation increases with frequency. UHF TV signals are generally more degraded by moisture than lower bands, such as VHF TV signals. The ionosphere, a layer of the Earth's atmosphere, is filled with charged particles that can reflect some radio waves. Amateur radio enthusiasts primarily use this quality of the ionosphere to help propagate lower frequency HF signals around the world. The waves are trapped, bouncing around in the upper layers of the ionosphere until they are refracted down at another point on the Earth. This is called skywave transmission. UHF TV signals are not carried along the ionosphere but can be reflected off of the charged particles down at another point on Earth in order to reach farther than the typical line of sight transmission distances. This is the skip distance. UHF transmission and reception are enhanced or degraded by tropospheric ducting as the atmosphere warms and cools throughout the day. Since the wavelengths of UHF signals are comparable to the size of buildings, trees, vehicles and other common objects, reflection and diffraction affects the propagation of UHF signals, especially in built-up urban areas. The main advantage of UHF transmission is the short wavelength that is produced by the high frequency. The size of transmission and reception antennas is related to the size of the radio wave. The UHF antenna is stubby and short. Smaller and less conspicuous antennas can be used with higher frequency bands. The major disadvantage of UHF is its limited broadcast range, often called line of sight between the TV station's transmission antenna and customer's reception antenna, as opposed to VHF's longer broadcast range. UHF is widely used in two-way radio systems and cordless telephones, whose transmission and reception antennas are closely spaced. Transmissions generated by two-way radios and cordless telephones do not travel far enough to interfere with local transmissions. Public safety, business communications and personal radio services such as GMRS, PMR446, and UHF CB are often found on UHF frequencies as well as IEEE 802.11 wireless LANs. The widely adapted GSM and UMTS cellular networks use UHF cellular frequencies. A repeater propagates UHF signals when a distance greater than the line of sight is required. Antennas VHF and particularly UHF wavelengths are short enough that efficient transmitting antennas are small enough to mount on handheld and mobile devices, so these frequencies are used for two-way land mobile radio systems, such as walkie-talkies, two-way radios in vehicles, cordless phones, and cell phones. Omnidirectional UHF antennas used on mobile devices are usually short whips or rubber ducky antennas. Higher gain omnidirectional UHF antennas can be made of collinear arrays of dipoles and are used for mobile base stations and cellular base station antennas. 
the short wavelengths also allow high gain antennas to be conveniently small. High gain antennas for point to point communication links and UHF television reception are usually Yagi, log periodic, corner reflectors, or reflective array antennas. At the top end of the band slot antennas and parabolic dishes become practical. For satellite communication, helical, and turnstile antennas are used since satellites typically employ circular polarization which is not sensitive to the relative orientation of the transmitting and receiving antennas. Applications UHF television broadcasting fulfilled the demand for additional over-the-air television channels in urban areas. Today, much of the bandwidth has been reallocated to land mobile, trunked radio and mobile telephone use. UHF channels are still used for digital television. UHF spectrum is used worldwide for land mobile radio systems for commercial, industrial, public safety, and military purposes. Many personal radio services use frequencies allocated in the UHF band, although exact frequencies in use differ significantly between countries. Major telecommunications providers have deployed voice and data cellular networks in UHF VHF range. This allows mobile phones and mobile computing devices to be connected to the public switch telephone network and public internet. Examples of UHF frequency allocations, Australia, UHF Citizens Band, 476 a Euro 477 a MHz, television broadcasting uses UHF channels between 503 and 819 MHz, Canada, 470 a Euro 806 a MHz, Terrestrial television, 1452 a Euro 1492 a MHz, digital audio broadcasting, many other frequency assignments for Canada and Mexico are similar to their U.S. counterparts, United Kingdom, 380 a Euro 399.9 a MHz, terrestrial trunked radio service for emergency use, 430 a Euro 440 a MHz, amateur radio, 446.0 a Euro 446.1 megahertz private mobile radio 446.1 a Euro 446.2 megahertz digital private mobile radio 457 a Euro 464 a megahertz scanning telemetry and telecontrol assigned mostly to the water gas and electricity industries 606 a Euro 614 a MHz, radio microphones and radio astronomy, 470 a Euro 862 a MHz, previously used for analog TV channels 21 a Euro 69. Currently channels 21 a Euro 30 and 39 a Euro 60 are used for Freeview Digital TV, channel 36 is used for radar, channel 38 is used for radio astronomy. Channel 69 is used for licensed and license exempt wireless microphones. 870 a Euro 960 a MHz, cellular communications including GSMR and future TETRA, 1240 a Euro 1325 a MHz, amateur radio, 1710 a Euro 1880 a MHz, 2G cellular communications, 1880 a Euro 1900 a MHz, DECT cordless telephone. 1900 a Euro 1980 a MHz, 3G cellular communications, mobile phone upper link, 2110 a Euro 2170 a MHz, 3G cellular communications, base station downlink, 2310 a Euro 2450 a MHz, amateur radio, United States, UHF channels, are used for digital television broadcasting both over the air channels and cable television channels. Since 1962, UHF channels have been required in approved television receivers by the All Channel Receiver Act. The Family Radio Service and General Mobile Radio Service use the 462 and 467 MHz areas of the UHF spectrum. There is a considerable amount of lawful unlicensed activity clustered around 900 MHz and 2.4 GHz, regulated under Title 47 CF of Part 15. These ISM bands are Euro frequencies with the higher unlicensed power permitted for use originally by industrial, scientific, medical apparatus a Euro are now becoming some of the most crowded in the spectrum because they are open to everyone. 
The 2.45 RGHZ frequency is the standard for use by microwave ovens, adjacent to the frequencies allocated for Bluetooth network devices. UHF taboo frequencies, in early television broadcast engineering, were limitations on local channel assignments imposed on broadcasters by an adequate adjacent channel and image frequency interference rejection in the first UHF TV tuner designs. These problems have been corrected in modern digital television receivers. The spectrum from 806 MHz to 890 MHz was taken away from TV broadcast services in 1983, primarily for analog mobile telephony. In 2009, as part of the transition from analog to digital over the air broadcast of television, the spectrum from 698 MHz to 806 MHz was also no longer used for TV broadcasting. Channel 55, for instance, was sold to Qualcomm for their media flow service, which is resold under various mobile telephone network brands. Some U.S. broadcasters had been offered incentives to vacate this channel early, permitting its immediate mobile use. The FCC scheduled auction for this newly available spectrum was completed in March 2008. The FCC has allowed Americans to connect any device and any application the 22 MHz of radio spectrum that people are calling the 700 MHz band. The FCC did not make a wholesale condition, which would have required the resale of bandwidth to other users would then sell to the end user. Google argued for this saying that it would have driven up Internet competition. Right now, 96% of the country's broadband access is controlled by DSL and cable providers. A wholesale condition could have meant a third option for Internet service. 225 Euro 420 MHz, government use, including meteorology, military aviation, and federal two-way use, 420 Euro 450 MHz, government radio location and amateur radio, 433 MHz, short-range consumer devices including automotive, alarm systems, home automation, temperature sensors, 450 Euro 470 MHz, UHF business band, general mobile radio service, and family radio service two-way walkie-talkies, public safety, 470 Euro 512 MHz, TV channels 14 Euro 20, 512. A Euro 698 MHz, TV channels 21 a Euro 51, 698 a Euro 806 MHz, was auctioned in March 2008. Bidders got full use after the transition to digital TV was completed on June 12, 2009, 806 a Euro 824 MHz, public safety and commercial two-way, 824 a Euro 851 MHz, Cellular A and B franchises, Terminal, 851 a Euro 869 MHz, Public Safety and Commercial Two-Way, 869 a Euro 896 MHz, Cellular A and B franchises, Base Station, 902 a Euro 928 A MHz, ISM Band, Amateur Radio, Cordless Phones and Stereo, Radio Frequency Identification, Data Links, 929 a Euro 930 MHz, pages, 931 a Euro 932 MHz, pages, 935 a Euro 941 MHz, commercial two-way radio, 941 a Euro 960 MHz, mixed studio transmitter links, SCADA, other, 960 a Euro 1215 MHz, aeronautical radio navigation, 1240 a Euro 1300 MHz, amateur radio, 1452 a Euro 1492 MHz, military use, 1575 MHz, GNSSL1 band a Euro GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, 1710 a Euro 1755 MHz, AWS mobile phone upper link operating band, 1850 a Euro 1910 MHz, PCS mobile for near Euro order is A, D, B, E, F, C blocks. A, B, C equals 15 MHz. D, E, F equals 5 MHz, 1920 a Euro 1930 MHz, DECT cordless telephone, 
1930 a Euro 1990 a MHz, PCS base stations a Euro order is A, D, B, E, F, C blocks. A, B, C equals 15 MHz. D, E, F equals 5 MHz, 2110 a Euro 2155 MHz, AWS mobile phone downlink operating band, 2300 a Euro 2310 MHz, amateur radio, 2310 a Euro 2360 MHz, satellite radio, 2390 a Euro 2450 MHz, amateur radio, 2400 a Euro 2483.5 MHz, ISM, IEEE 802.11, 802.11b, 802.11g, 802.11n wireless LAN, IEEE 802.15.4-2006, Bluetooth, radio controlled aircraft, microwave oven, Zigbee, see also, digital audio broadcasting and its regional implementations, digital terrestrial television, thing, references. External links, US cable television channel frequencies, tftower.com a Euro commercial television frequencies, Tomislav Stimak, definition of frequency bands. IK1QFK homepage.